Since the early 1980s, graduates of the animation department at Middlesex have gone on to become some of the biggest names in the UK animation scene. My name is Joanna Quinn and I'm, I'm an animation director and I studied animation at Middlesex University. My name is Bella, yes you all know me. I represent the girls on assembly. So you think I'm just a party, but there's more to me than that. So I prove it to you now with the greatest of these. Winning BAFTAs has become a way of life for ex-Middlesex student Neville Astley, who teamed up with Mark Baker to create Peppa Pig, one of the most successful British kids series of all time. Coming to DVD. Peppa Pig. It's preschool's favourite silly little pig. Peppa Pig. After graduating from Middlesex, animation director Lewis Cook was snapped up by Ardman Animation, where he recently made the internationally acclaimed short, The Peer Sisters. Building on our past successes, animation at Middlesex is now bigger and better than ever, with an award-winning academic team. When Middlesex University asked me to set up the animation department, I saw it as a great opportunity to pass on some of the skills and knowledge that I've picked up from working in the animation industry. It was a chance to create the kind of animation course that I wish I could have studied on. When I'm working in the animation industry, I'm approached by a lot of graduates and more often than not, I have to turn them away because they just don't have the skills that you need for the business. I think this is often because they've been taught by people who don't work in the industry themselves. So when I was setting up the animation program, I felt it was very important to hire staff who were also working professionally. Yeah, so at Middlesex we do all sorts of animation. We range from things like traditional line-drawn animation all the way to uh, live-action pixelation. But whatever technique you do, it's like really important to get good film language. And that's something we look at in the second year. You know, without good film language, it doesn't matter how beautiful your drawings are, the, the story will just be dead. And so we're looking at ways of how to make the story far more dramatic or how more emotional the story can be. In the same way, we kind of look at characterization. You know, we're not interested in just flat characters. What, what we're after are really interesting characters that appear thinking and actually show real emotions. In that way, the audience becomes far more involved with them and so is far more interested in the story that you're telling. I'm a stop motion lecturer here at Middlesex University, helping the students understand the building blocks of stop motion. Students studying stop motion animation at Middlesex University get to explore a diverse range of experimental as well as narrative techniques. This may range from two-dimensional cutouts, real objects, 3D plasticine models in studio sets, and even mixed media animation where students combine various techniques to create bold, new and often surprising work. Middlesex University now offers two completely different animation degrees. BA Animation and BA 3D Animation and Games. So what's the difference? In animation you get to study a broad range of animation techniques including traditional 2D, digital 2D, stop motion and 3D computer animation. In 3D Animation and Games the main focus is on animation for the games industry. 3D animation in games is, is to prepare students who are particularly interested in going into the role of a games animator. In that, for games animation, you have to work under certain restrictions. 
So we teach you a little bit more about how to work within the games engine requirements and a little bit about games design. For the most part, we're focusing entirely on animation and drawing and animating skills. So in a nutshell, if you want a career in the games industry, go for BA 3D Animation and Games. And if you want to make animated films, go for BA Animation. When I worked for Sony, we were sent off to do life drawing classes. And this was the case for actually for many of the, the companies that I worked for. It's still a very important and very useful skill. And with this in mind, I've tried to bring this into my teaching. For instance, one of the things we like to do is to do sculpture, three-dimensional clay sculpture of a head. The same skills that you learn in manipulating the clay, you'll take into your 3D work. And one of the things that you might be required to do when you're working in games, or indeed in film, is to reproduce a celebrity, to sculpt them perfectly and to touch them perfectly. If you spend a bit of time drawing a real-life person or sculpting them in clay, you'll be learning the particular skills that you can take directly into 3D. In terms of the facilities at Middlesex, they're absolutely first class. We've consulted with industry to make sure there's fantastic workflow between all the different departments. So whatever kind of animation you're doing, you're completely catered for here. That would include 2D or 3D animation. And on top of that, in terms of software, we have fantastic technical, technical support as well. So whatever difficulties you may have, we can help you through it. When new students first arrive, we start them off animating on traditional 2D light boxes, much the same as the ones used by Disney in the 1930s. This is because learning the basics of animation is easier, or you don't have to worry about animation software. During the first term, students will gradually start to use more and more digital technology. The Stop Motion Studio is equipped with all the lights and rigging that you'd find in a professional setup. Sequences of animation are captured using digital SLR cameras with a full range of lenses connected to IMAX. Once captured, the animation is edited in Final Cut Studio and voiceovers, sound effects and music can be added using Soundtrack Pro. This takes place in the Digital Media Workshop, where students also learn Flash, After Effects and Maya. Again, in terms of software here, it's, it's completely industry spec, it's everything that's used in industry right now. That includes Adobe CS5, Final Cut Studio for editing and Maya 3D software as well. Mm -hmm. 